Hello and welcome to your creative vinyasa. This class is going to be super funky, lots of fun transitions, and we're going to work into the hamstrings, lots of standing splits, some arm balances. It's going to be really fun. I'm not using any props, but if you like a block or a strap and that helps your practice, go ahead and grab them and let's get started on our back. So walking the feet out long, Take the feet to the top two corners of the mat, soft bend in the knees, reach the fingers forward, and then as slow as you can, articulate the movement in the spine and come all the way down onto the back body. Once you're there, sweep the arms up overhead and release the fingers and then press the palms away from you. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears as you start to lengthen the side bodies, maybe shimmy the hips side to side. And then release the grip of the fingers. Take left hand to right wrist, cross right leg over left, and then find a little side bend over towards left side of the mat. Switching through right hip flexor, up into the obliques, the serratus, maybe into the lat. And then release that, step the right foot out, and then we'll switch. Right hand, left wrist, and then a little side bend over towards the right. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Walk back through center, sweep the arms all the way up. So reaching them as far away from the crown of the head as you can. And then interlace the fingers once again, draw the right knee in towards the chest and give it a little hug. Palms come to the shin and then sway it side to side. Working into the hip, starting to open. And keep the right knee wide, half happy baby, right hand to the outside of the right foot. Draw the knee towards the outside of the shoulder. Left hand can go to top of left thigh, reminding it to stay down. Beautiful, and then come back through center, left hand to right foot, right hand to the right knee, and like a baby, just cradling the leg. So sort of like a figure four shape without the bottom leg. And then from here, we'll find a twist, right knee over to the left, gaze towards the right. Beautiful, and then draw back through center, pull the knee in towards the chest, reach both hands towards the right foot, and then straighten the right leg out. Option to have the hands on the back of the thigh, the calf, the ankle, wherever you can grab. Keep a soft bend in the right knee, and then flex the toes to send the heel to the sky. Make sure the shoulders are pretty relaxed here. That would be an indicator of needing to walk the hands down if they are lifted off of the mat. And knowing that we're early in practice, so it doesn't have to be the deepest stretch you've ever done. And then for the last breath, just curl the forehead up towards the knee, maybe straighten out through the leg a bit, keeping left foot grounded. And then gently release, and we'll switch sides. Right foot goes out, left leg pulls in, Interlacing the fingers and then swaying the knee, the leg side to side. And then keep the left knee wide, half happy baby, left hand to outside of left foot, right hand to right thigh, draw the knee out towards the shoulder. Continue to breathe deeply and take as little or as much movement as your body is calling for.
and then switch right hand to left foot, left hand to left knee, and then cradle and rock the leg side to side. Working deeper into the hip. And then left knee all the way over to the right. Find your twist. Open the left arm out and gaze towards the left fingertips. Move back through center, straighten through the left leg, both hands either to the foot, the ankle, the shin, wherever you can grab. And again, make sure the shoulders are resting pretty comfortably on the mat. If they are not, then walk the hands down just a bit. Sending the breath into your hamstring. And remembering that the hamstrings are one of the biggest muscles in our body, so they definitely take time to open. And then release, draw both knees in towards the chest, give yourself a hug, and then take a full happy baby. Maybe you straighten one leg at a time, maybe you stay in stillness. But take a couple breaths here, stabilizing the spine and opening up the hips and the inner thighs a little bit deeper. And then release knees in towards chest. Hold behind the thighs, rock a couple times to make your way up to a seat. Press the ankles, plant the hands, tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Spread the fingers wide. And then we'll press the hips back towards a child's pose. On the inhale, roll into a cat pose, coming forward. On the exhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, and press yourself back. So a little spinal roll, tabletop, cat cow. If this isn't working for your body today, you can take regular cat cows. As always, listening to what you and your body needs in each moment. Beautiful, and then coming back through your tabletop, tuck the toes under, take a big breath in. Breath out, downward facing dogs, and the hips high. Bend into one knee and then the other. Maybe sway the head side to side. And then make your way back through stillness. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. On your inhale, lift the heels off of the mat. On the exhale, dip them over towards the left. Inhale to move through center and exhale to switch. Dip the heels to the right. Inhale back through center. On the exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Ragdoll. Feet wider than hips width. Bend into the knees and then fold over the legs. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Let your head hang. Letting gravity do the work to open up the posterior chain. Release the hands to the mat, heel toe the feet together, big toes touch. On your next inhale, roll super slow up to stand. 
one vertebra at a time. Sweep the arms up to the top once you arrive, and then palms together, bend at the elbows, press the head into the forearms, and then start to lean back, opening up through the heart. Take a deep breath in. Lean back on your breath out. On your inhale, come back up, reach the fingers up to the sky. On the exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pin the hands, step back, high plank. Holding here for a moment, send the heels towards the back of the mat. Really push into the hands, charge up the legs. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, option for cobra. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And take two more cycles of breath before we speed up our sun A's. On your next inhale, lift the heels. On the exhale, travel top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, rise. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows, lean back, open up the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the elbows, lean back, open up the heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, deep breath in, and deep breath out. One more sun A, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat, halfway, forward fold, inhale, rise, exhale, bend the elbows, open up the heart. Inhale, lift back up, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, chair. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale to sink low. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, airplane the arms, lift the heels from the mat. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane and lift. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane and lift. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat, standing splits. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, fold a little bit deeper. On the next inhale, we're coming all the way up to stand at the back of the mat. Pull the right knee into the chest. Sweep the arms up to the sky as you go. On the exhale, take a big step forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale to sink low. Straighten through the left leg if you have stability and your low back feels good here. Square the hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. On the breath out, open up, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse, reach back. On your exhale, skandasana, bend into the left knee, right leg long to the top of the mat. Hook the left elbow on the left knee, and then sink low. Keep lifting through the heart, pressing the hands together, option, hands down, if you need a little bit more support. Breathe in, breathe out. On your inhale, come all the way up to a pyramid, right toes spin forward, left heel lifts for this first one, straighten through the right leg, and then fold over the right thigh. Hips and shoulders stacked, or square rather. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, and exhale. On the next inhale, plant the hands, lift, standing splits. On the exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Next inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat, standing splits. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On the next inhale, come all the way up to stand. Left knee pulls into the chest. Arms reach up to the sky. On the exhale, big step forward. Crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Maybe straighten through the right leg. If you have stability, square the hips. A couple more breaths here. We're taking this first round slow and we'll speed it up after this. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back, big stretch. Keep the bend in the left knee. Exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee. Hands through the heart center, left toes lift. Try to drop right heel down if you can and then hook right shoulder, opening up through the heart. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale and exhale. On the inhale, keep the hands at the heart. Come all the way up, pyramid. Pop the right heel up. Left toes spin forward, hinging forward over the left leg. Keep the back nice and flat. Crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Using your core here. One more breath in and out. Inhale, standing splits, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, jump it back, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath before we move on. That is our flow and we will build on from there. As always, if you need to come down to a child's pose, take a sip of water, down dog is your time to take a moment for you. Next, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, hold, or Ekapada Kundinyasana, reaching right leg long, lifting the left leg. Try to lift the arms to Chaturanga. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat, standing splits. On the inhale, come all the way up to stand. Pull the right knee into the chest. This time, straighten it all the way forward. Big breath in, breath out, step. Crescent. Inhale. On the exhale, open to a twist. Left hand forward, right hand back. Hips stay square to the top of your space. Can you twist from your shoulders? Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale, pivot all the way around. And exhale, land in your warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach the right arm back. 
On your exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the left knee. We'll drop all the way down onto the hips. Take right hand to left ankle in front of you. Left hand up and overhead. Maybe you can find the bind with the right finger or the right big toe. Open the chest to the sky. It's a big side body stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your inhale, draw the hands back through the heart as you lift into your skandasana shape. And then exhale, turn to the back of the mat, plant left hand at left corner. Inhale, half moon. Flexing the right foot, lifting the leg in line with the hip, pressing it towards the back of your space. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bend into the right knee, find your chapasana, kick foot into hand, hand into foot. Rolling, chest open to the sky. Big breath in, big breath out. Gently release that if you have it. Right foot steps down at the back of the mat, Padangustasana. Fingers around the big toes, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, drop the head. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here using the help of the fingers to draw the crown of the head closer towards the mat. Tailbone lifting to the sky. And then release left hand to left hip, heel toe left foot underneath you. And then on your inhale, we'll come up standing. Padangasasana, right. Fingers around, right big toe. Really root through your left foot. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On the inhale, release the arms to the sky. Keep the leg long. On the exhale, hinge into a warrior three. Kick the right leg back, soft bend in the left knee. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, we're gonna land warrior two facing the front of the mat. Inhale, triangle back straight in through the right leg. On the exhale, hands travel through the heart center. Pop the left heel up, step the left foot in, pyramid. Hold over the right leg. Take a deep breath in. Maybe the hands frame the foot on your breath out. So finding a shorter stance this time and folding deeper over the right leg. Next, inhale, find a halfway lift. Plant the left hand at the top left corner of the mat. Right peace fingers around, right big toe. Spin onto the edge of the left foot. We're moving to side plank. However you get there is perfect. You do not need to have the bind. On an inhale, lifting up. Pressing into left hand and left foot. On an exhale, slow and controlled, wild thing. Right foot steps back. Left leg long, open up the heart to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga, up dog, to downward facing dog. Great work, inhale, and exhale. Two more cycles of breath before we move on. Can you let go of whatever we just did, knowing it will feel different on the second side? On your inhale, left leg to sky. On the exhale, left knee, left elbow option to fly it into your arm balance. Lifting the right leg. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, walk it back. Standing splits, back of the mat. Take a big breath in and fold on your breath out. Inhale, lift all the way up. The left knee pulls into the chest, arms lift to the sky, straighten through the right leg this time. On your exhale, big step forward, crescent. Take a deep breath in, breath out, open twist. So squaring the shoulders over towards the left this time, straightening through the right leg as much as you can and rolling left shoulder back. Keep breathing. 
One more, inhale. And exhale. Next, inhale, start to pivot open and land in warrior two on your breath out. Inhale, reverse, big stretch back. On the exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee. Come all the way down. Left hand, right ankle this time, right arm swoops by the ear, find that big side body stretch. Opening up through right side body. And you could be here as well, of course, if that bind isn't there for you today. Beautiful. Come all the way back up. Hands travel through the heart center, lifting, and then plant right hand. Spin the right toes to face the back of the mat and lift into your half moon. Flexing the left foot, reaching left fingers to the sky, soft bend in the bottom knee, low ribs pulling in, gaze at one point. And then for option for Chapasana, taking hold of left foot and left hand, kicking the foot into the hand, hand into foot. Gently release back to your half moon and we'll meet left foot next to right, the back of the mat. Heel toe the feet, hips width, Padangustasana, fingers around the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. A few cycles of breath here. Release right fingers from right big toe, heel toe the right foot in towards the middle. On the in breath, lift, left leg all the way up. Roll left shoulder back in line with the right. Think about standing up really tall here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On your inhale, release the finger. Reach the fingers up to the sky, left leg stays long. On the exhale, fly into your warrior three. Kicking the left leg back, reaching the fingers forward. Square the hips and then press the bottom heel into the mat to lift you. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, we'll land warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Good, inhale, try and go back. On the exhale, hands travel through the heart center, pop the right foot forward, find your pyramid, square the hips. Take a deep breath in, on your breath out, fold. Maybe drop the hands on either side of left foot. Continue to square the hips, left hip back, right hip forward. And think about a long spine here. So taking the rounding out of the spine just slightly. And then place left hand, or right hand rather, to top right corner of the mat. Left fingers around left big toe, spin onto the outside of the right foot on your inhale. Side plank with the bind. On your exhale, left foot steps behind for wild thing. Opening the heart, deep breath in. Breath out, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more cycles of breath, whatever they look like for you. Maybe you towel off, get water. La 
last breath, inhale. And exhale. On your inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Maybe fly it. Agapada Kundanyasana. Maybe your chin stand, if that isn't your practice. We'll meet three like a dog, right leg to sky. Exhale, walk it back. Standing splits. On your inhale, rise. Pulling her right knee up, straightening through the right leg. On the exhale, big step forward. Crescent lunge. Take a big breath in, breath out. Open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, start to pivot all the way around. Exhale, land in your warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, skandasana. Bend into the left knee. Lower all the way down onto the hips. Right hand, left ankle. Left hand, right foot. Find that side bend. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your inhale, rise. This time we'll take left hand to left knee and we'll find compass pose. So cradling left hand on left knee and right hand on left foot. Maybe you walk it in right away. Find a little cradle here. You can bend the right knee in towards the hips for a little bit more support. We'll just find a little opening and then we'll move into the stretch. And then from here, start to walk the left knee up on left shoulder like little backpack. Take the right hand over the top of the left foot so that it's grabbing the outside edge. Place left hand down next to left hip and then on an inhale, straighten through your left leg, finding your compass. Think about spinning the chest to the sky so that side bend was super helpful in warming us up for this stretch. Beautiful. And then from here, if you want to go to Asavakrasana or eight angle, maybe readjust. Keep the leg, the left leg where it is. Plant the hands, cross right leg over, or right foot over left, and then hinge forward, finding your arm balance. Legs crossed, left leg balancing on left arm. Beautiful. And then come back. We're going to meet in our Skandasana. So hands or no hands, lift back up. And then turn towards the back of the mat, left hand to top left corner. Right arm, right leg, lift to the sky, half moon. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Finding your chapasana, bending into right knee, kick foot into hand, hand into foot. All right, from here, we're gonna lift all the way up to a dancer. So soft foot in the bottom knee, gaze at one point. Start to lift the left hand away from the floor, keeping the bind if you can. And then reach left fingers up. Find your full dancer shape. Kick foot into hand, hand into foot. Think about lifting the chest to the sky. Big breath in, big breath out. On the next inhale, we're just gonna keep the right hand at the right foot, pull the right knee into the chest, and then kick it forward, finding your standing balance. Maybe left hand, also meets the foot, and then a gentle fold forward over the right leg. Beautiful, from here, release that, inhale, arms up, exhale, fly, warrior three, kick the right leg back. Take a deep breath in, breath out, land, warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Inhale, reverse, reach back. On the exhale, We'll find pyramid right away. Plant the hands, hop the foot in, and fold. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Beautiful left hand plants. Right fingers around right big toe or any variation to get to side plank. Roll to the edge of the foot. Lift all the way up, and then exhale, wild thing. Lifting the hips to the sky, arching the heart. On the exhale, one-legged chaturanga to meet back in down dog. 
Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath. How deep can you make them? We only have one side left. Beautiful. On the next inhale, the left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Find your arm balance. Maybe chin stand. We'll meet three like a dog. And then walk, standing splits. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, stand all the way up. Left knee pulls into the chest, sweep the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, big step forward, crescent. Inhale, exhale, open twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, start to pivot. On the exhale, landing warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee. Coming all the way down, left hand. Right ankle, right arm reaches up over the head. Big side body stretch. On your inhale, come on up. Take right hand to right knee and start to cradle right leg. You can take left heel in for more stability. Maybe you work it in to the elbow creases right away. Great work. Sitting up tall. Swing side to side to gently open right hip. And then we'll make our way to our compass. So left hand on the foot just to adjust. Right knee is going to come up around the right shoulder like a backpack. Then from here, left hand to the top of the right foot so that it grabs the outside edge. Once that's there, right hand comes down next to right hip and then when you're ready, you straighten out right leg. Gazing over towards the left. Think about opening the chest. Big side body stretch for the left side. Beautiful. And then if you want to try an angle from here, readjust pulling the right leg up on the shoulder once again. Plant the right hand. Plant the left hand next to your hip. Left leg over right. And then lifting and leaning forward, chaturanga arms, squeezing the legs together. Beautiful, come back down to a seat. Right foot steps down, left foot goes out, kneading through skandasana, and then right hand top or back right corner of the mat and lift, half moon. Great work, that is challenging. Option to stay here or find your Japasana. Open up through the chest. And then we're coming through our dancer from here. So start to lift right fingers away from the floor. Coming all the way up to stand. Once you're there, reach right arm to the sky. Straighten out through the right leg. Kick foot into hand, hand into foot. And then keep left hand on, left foot just switch the grip to the outside edge. And then we'll lift to our standing balance. Maybe right hand comes to meet left foot and a little fold forward over the leg. Beautiful, release that left leg stays long, arms lift. And then exhale, fly warrior three. Kick the leg back, soft bend in the bottom knee. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, land, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, from here, inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands travel through the heart. Find your pyramid, square the hips. Take an in-breath, on the out-breath, fold over the left leg. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. 
Right hand to top right corner of the mat, left fingers around left big toe, roll to the outside of the right foot, inhale to lift. Last side plank, exhale, slow and controlled wild thing. Push the hips up to the sky, left heel stays lifted. And then on an exhale, one legged chaturanga, up dog to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On your inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes, and then take the hands to interlace on right thigh. Dropping down, stretching out left hip flexor. We'll move into a full split if you have it soon. So if you need blocks, you can go ahead and grab them. Beautiful. From here, keep the back toes untucked. Just push into the back foot and then start to lift the back knee for more of an active low lunge. Gaze at one point. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, slowly drop down to the left knee. Drop the hands on either side of the right leg and then push the hips back, half splits. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, fold over right leg. Option to stay here or if full splits is in your practice or just slide your right foot forward and come on down. Keep squaring the hips, hands can rest or if you have the space, reach them overhead. Maybe fold over the right leg, but continue on working that squaring of the hips. Beautiful, and then from here, slowly move your right foot back, plant the hands, and step back, downward facing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step it forward. Low lunge. Untuck the back toes, interlace the fingers, and place them on left thigh this time. Just dropping down into this lunge. Remembering that our splits flexibility is both a combination of hip flexor and hamstring length and strength. So working both of those is not only good for splits, but for lots of other things. And then from here, keep the back toes untucked. Just lift the right knee, really push into the back foot. Avoid this if you have any ankle pain, of course, but if you can stay in it, stay. And then release right knee to the mat, plant the hands, push the hips back, half splits. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then walk or slide left leg forward. Finding your splits on the second side if you have it. This side is a little bit tougher for me to get into just the way that my pelvis is. So maybe that's the same for you or opposite. Wherever you are is perfect. Continue to square the hips. Left toes stay flexed. And then when you're ready, slide left foot back gently bend the hands down dog final down dog of practice take a deep breath in and a deep breath out dropping down into a seat sweeping the legs forward and lowering onto the back coming all the way down head heavy and then we'll take feet together knees wide supta baddha konasana Hands to the thighs, you can just press the hips forward gently. Maybe a windshield wiper the legs. And 
and then pull the knees back in towards the chest. Let the left leg go long, and we'll find a twist. Left knee, or right, right knee over to the left. Gaze towards the right. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale to come back through center and switch. Right leg out and twist. And then come back through center. Final rest, Shavasana. Any shape that is calling to you, go ahead and take it. Closing the eyes down, letting the hands rest anywhere along the body. Maybe sighing a few deep breaths. Feeling the heart rate start to return to its natural rhythm. The breath return to its natural rhythm. And give yourself these few moments to soak in everything that we just did in practice. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As always, you can stay in your Shavasana if you have the time to stay. But when you're ready, you start to take small movements to wake the body up. Maybe reaching overhead. Roll over onto one side eventually. Press up into a seat. Sit up tall. Pressing the ankles, collecting the hands at the heart center. Close the eyes back down for a moment. And as always, call in that feeling of gratitude, even if it's just for simply making time to do something for you today. We'll take a final breath all the way in, fill up. And exhale, let it go. Blink the eyes open. Great work. I hope you loved this class. As always, please let me know down below if you did, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.